Welcome to Lunch Story. In each episode, you will get a behind the scenes look at a course, a program, or for the Here is your host, Dr. Ada Fallon. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Today, I'm super excited to have Bridget here with me. Bridget Baker is amazing. <laughs> Yay! So for 10 years, Bridget's built brands and websites for coaches, consultants, teachers, therapists, and course recreators um, in building and designing their brands and websites. Simply put, she specializes in working with people who help people. I love that. She believes that the way to let your mojo shine is through building a brand that you don't feel only confident about, but that your audience can connect with by taking a look at where you are already, getting clear about where you wanna go, she creates brand strategies to build a brand that truly represents where you are now. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that, I love that. Okay, so Bridget, tell us a bit more about your business and you know, what you've launched or what you're, what you're launching. Okay, so um, I'm a brand and web designer, as you told. Yeah. the audience. Um, so really what that means uh, in a nutshell is that I support people anywhere from this ground up, building a brand foundation, getting clear on what your brand is, who you're working with, what colors and fonts go with it, all those yummy, juicy visual pieces, and yeah. then actually turning that into a product. So we then turn that into a website designed for that person that you're speaking to. Um, and in the same voice and message and tone as your audience would resonate with. So um, cool. it's not just about, oh, let's make a pretty website. It's really connecting all those pieces together. Um, so that's essentially what I do. Yeah, that's amazing. I love how it's, you know, like ideal client work that everyone talks a lot about, but that meets the design and that meets the outcome, which is like the product or the service, the, the business, what's generating value on the other end. That is beautiful. I love that. I love that. So what are you launching? What did you launch? Well, let's see. So I'm in the process of launching. I have, um, okay. supposedly the, the 15th is the, is the date. Um, oh. I started pre-selling something, I think on October 2nd. Okay. Um, so I decided to do a pre-sale, uh, which is an experiment. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, so I did the pre-sale. I am launching a course called, um, Mojo Your Canva Graphics. So Ooh. it's basically creating Canva graphics. So it's sort of the things that I don't do that I, uh, I worked with Canva as a tool for years and I worked yeah. with it for design for my yeah. clients. But I'd realize I'd get clients to a certain point and then they go, oh, I want to make social media graphics. I want to make presentations. And I don't do that for them, really. And I would mm. go, well, I could. I don't really want to. So I realized, you know what? These are people that want to get in there and get their hands dirty and play with the software. And, and it's daunting. Even with yeah. all the amazing tutorials they have available, it's daunting when you first go into something to go, I just want to figure out how to do something. How do I do something? And so I'm kind of, the, the course is built around that. It's built around you know, my audience, again, people who don't have a VA, don't have someone doing this for them, or they can actually pass this on to their VA if their VA has never used Canva before. Right. Um, and so it's kind of a, a shorthand tutorial to, you know, let's get some, now that you know what your brand is and you're clear on those kinds of things, let's actually get some graphics that look good and consistent that you can reuse and for ease. So it's just really delving into that, that tool. Wow, that's amazing. So is the appropriate person for this uh, course someone that knows their brand, like they've worked with you and they've kind of built their brand and now they're looking to take the <laughs> fabulousness that you've created and continue yeah. using it? Yes, and and um, and yes they so you know you might have your brand built and then for example you have a course you're gonna build which has maybe a little deviates from your brand so you're gonna okay. use some of the same brand colors but maybe you want to plug some different pieces in okay. so i'm actually going to be talking about some of the tools in canva there's a color palette generator for example oh. there's some font combination suggestions so there are some design tools inside of canva so that basically even if people pretty much know what their existing brand is, yeah. they can still build on that. Like, oh, I want a cursive font that would go with this, or I want to, you know, how do I figure out what that is? So there's actually design tools inside of Canva that they can use to sort of to figure that out. Well, yeah, obviously, once you know your audience, once you know 
who you're working with. You don't just pick, oh, those colors are pretty and just go with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so much more. And I, f I feel like through chatting with you and some other people I know in branding, I've learned that there's just so much more underneath it. It isn't just the pretty little colors. It makes me, when I go shopping, like really think about like, oh, why am I really attracted to this? <laughs> like, a lot of people put a lot of thought in, in into those bits. Wow. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about um, the process that you chose to follow. So sometimes people, you know, create, they have an idea, they go off, they do all the work, they create the course, they like do all the things, and then they put it out into the world. You are taking an approach that's very similar to someone I interviewed earlier, Emily Crookston, and she um, and you are pre-selling. Tell us about like why you chose that, why you chose to sell uh, before, you know, obviously you know the content, like pre-selling is not for people that are like, I want to create a course on, you know, uh, rocket science when you don't know anything about rocket science, you know, all your stuff in branding, but the, right. the course materials may not be hundred percent fully fleshed out. So how did you decide to, to do that? Well, I think this is the second or third course that I've created and <sighs> okay. I didn't pre-sell initially because I was scared about what if I pre-sell and then I don't have all the content done because it takes me way longer than I think. So yeah. since I've done this before and I'm using the same kinds of tools to yeah. deliver the, the course materials, I know mm. how long it's going to take me to do certain things. So I basically set it up that it was, you know, I started pre-selling on October 2nd, like I said, at a 50% yeah. off discount to okay. VIPs, sort of that was mainly promoted to people I knew, you know, I wanted to give people a head start. Yeah. um clients things like that and then um and that really was i was definitely intentionally only if i knew you <laughs> you know uh, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was i was intentional about making it special like i'm not just going to post this on canva to hundreds of people i'm going to post this to unique people who i know that have expressed interest or who i might think would be using this tool right. um and so then yeah and then the intention is that then you kind of look at that and you can assess because if nobody's buying it or there's no interest or no one's expressed interest to you, you might just drop it. You might go, mm. you know what, this might not be the way. Or along the process, I started out just doing, it was going to be a Canva post just for social media graphics, just for Instagram, literally just oh. that. So I started out with just that. And then as, as I built and I had some people talk to me, they went, well, I want to learn how to do presentations. That's like a huge thing that people want to know how to do. So you can do actual keynote presentations that you could present inside of Canva. You don't have to download anything, go to a different yeah. tool. It's all, yeah. you can just click and present the whole slideshow in Canva. I and I went, that. this is so much prettier and so much easier than using, you know, PowerPoint or Google slides or something like that. It's so yeah, much yeah, easier yeah. to customize um, when you're making new presentations and things like that. So um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to beef this up a little bit more since there's been some interest around people wanting to know how to do that. And then sometimes I'll create those presentations for people to begin with. And then they'll go, I'll go, great. And here's how you can keep using Canva as a tool to create more presentations for yourself, you know? So, so I'm basically setting them up with the tools to win. So yeah, I decided to get a little more comprehensive, um, you know, and, it, and it's interesting because I am, I am in a business coaching program and there's another, there's a lot of designers in there okay. and there's another person who's doing, she, I think she does primarily Canva courses and trainings and things like that. And she oh my and goodness. I, she and I were both sort of talking each other off the ledge a little bit about the process. Like, are we charging too much? Are we not charging enough? Like, should we do this? You know, it's like, finally, you just have, it's an experiment. You have to just yeah. go for it. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the thing as I, and I set it up a way that, that I knew how, again, how long it would take me to do the content and I'm just gonna pound out the content and do it. And then it might even just get offered as I'm working with clients, for example, right. like as a sort of a plus service, like I'm, to the end of working with them on their branding and website. And I go, well, great. And I have got this additional piece and I have a VIP discount code for you. And so they can use it then they, then they have, they're not like left in the dark. They have something they can take with them. So it yeah. might, you know, it might just funnel more that direction as well as just selling it randomly. So, so. Oh my goodness. There was, that was just so much amazing information. So first <laughs> there was like, you know, there's the two reasons. One, do people actually want this? And then also the second, which I think sometimes people overlook, which is okay, how can sort of my, my inner circle, which is another great thing that you said, you didn't just tell everyone, hey, I'm pre-selling this. There's this trusted group of people you have identified 
that are like, hey, this is what I'm interested in. And then you can adapt based on people's needs. I think that that is so smart and such a common set of advice from kind of business gurus, but you've given like a practical way of like, no, this is really how it works. <laughs> Not just like find out what people want. It's like, okay, no, this is how you do it. Yeah, that's really and it, cool. It's hard to, you know, to figure out how to set yourself apart and to go, well, it's not just that I'm selling a Canva course. Like, what am I really, what yeah. am I really creating for people? What do people really need? And sometimes until you put something out there, you don't really start the conversations to know. You think, oh, this is what I know. So I'm just going to share what I know. But people are like, hey, but I want to really want to do this or. Yes. And, and especially if you're someone who's good at doing something, sometimes you just take the action of doing it for granted. So you totally. forget, oh yeah, I forgot that I had to learn this. Yep. You know, yep. I forgot that this was a really a tricky part of it, that once I figured this little piece out, everything was golden, you know, right. there was a learning curve that I had. And so it's just passing that on to people because some people would go, well, why would you teach people how to do this? If you know, you could do the work for them. And I realized some people don't want that. Some people mm -hmm. actually want like to get in there. They like the, con you know, to either control or just to be able to last minute to make graphics for themselves right and maybe even you don't want to do that <laughs> yeah and and really it gets to that ultimately long term it's like there's this it becomes a sort of maintenance piece of their business which i don't really do exactly so yeah so you can and, the, and that goes back to another thing you said that was awesome it's like there's it's one course one offering but there's so many different like avatars or ideal clients that could use it right you mentioned the business owner you mentioned their team or their VA, like this one tool could be you know, like really an asset for whoever decides to purchase it within their business, right? Like now this, this team, this business has, has this Canva awesome skills. And then you brought up this, I had no idea Canva built presentations. Like that is like mind blowing. It's, it's changing all the time. And that's the yeah. other concern when you build an online course around a tool like this is you go, uh oh, so what do I build it? And then they're going to add something new and they might. And you they have might. to be willing to either pivot with that and, and add in like a, oh, you know, because when you have an online course, you can actually add and take out modules as yep. your course is up live for sale. True, that's kind true. of the beauty of it. It's not just like it's out there in the world and you can't change it. For sure. So let's say some piece is like, oh, now, now this is what the inner, like they'll completely change the interface of something. You log in, you go like Squarespace, a great example. Uh, yes, the, yes. The button was on the left. That's now on the right. Like, oh, wait a minute. Like I gave this whole tutorial and the button was on the left. So you have, you have to be willing to either adjust that or take the course down and go, it's no longer relevant. You know, For you sure. have to, you have to get to that point. Make that decision. But what I love is from what I'm gathering about the course that you're designing, there are the Canva bits, but there are also some larger kind of brand ideas like people will learn even if Canva completely changed their um interface like there's yeah. stuff about branding that would be in the course that would still be super valuable which yeah. is really cool very cool another question i have for you because you mentioned just at the the tail end i think of my first question um that there's another person that you know another designer who's also interested in creating tools and resources in canva and you guys are clap like you're talking to each other. And so I think for some people that might be like, oh, you know, they're the enemy, like they're now my competition. So tell us about the mindset behind this and um, and like how you are seeing, you know, abundance and the opportunity to, to talk. Well, it's it. funny because I started to realize, I started to go, oh no. I definitely had like a, oh no, this person like solely specializes in doing this. And there's even a person in this business coaching that I didn't realize that works for Canva or is some, some direct pipeline to their, their program. And I, and I went, okay, this is interesting. Um, oh why am I, why am I doing this? Right. Yeah. Um, they don't have any kind of like certified trainers or anything like that, yeah. but um, they, uh, you know, so this, so this person specializes in it and I thought, oh, well maybe I should just like not even do the work and just direct people to this person's yeah, stuff or yeah, yeah, yeah. ask her if I could be an affiliate and direct people to her stuff or For something. Sure. And then I looked and I went, you know, these are different products oh. and audiences coming from a different place. So that's the other thing is she's casting a very wide net. And I told okay. her, I said, this is literally coming from my experience of working with my branding clients. So she's not coming from that that piece of, okay, now that here's the next thing to set you up with. So I am, I'm oh. selling a different way. She's selling to people that have signed up for a Canva list that she knows has interest in Canva. Um, will they want this course from her? Who knows? Cause they'll go, Oh, well, I'm already in Canva. They might right, already right, be right. in Canva and not want that. 
Right. Uh, the, I, these are some people that I'm like, they don't even, they haven't even used Canva yet, or they've wanted to, but they're scared to get in there. They tried to get in. Right. They're like, well, I have to pay for it. I'm like, it's so worth it. When you compare all the other design tools out there, it's so low cost compared. Yeah. And it's just, it's worth it because it's very comprehensive. Like it allows yeah. you to have what we call a brand kit and they call a brand kit in Canva. Um, right. You can ha already have your fonts and colors plugged in. And so when you go to make your graphics, it just plugs those things automatically in for you. It just wow. it takes a lot of the learning uh, learning curve and sort of storage of that information out of the equation. Like, what was my, what's my highlight color? I can't remember. And you have to go look to some other document and copy right. and paste it. And it's like, it's just right there, you know? Right, 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 right. Um, yeah. So, you know, I think working, like I was, like I mentioned with that other, other designer was sort of, okay, well, I guess I know there's an interest for it. And yeah. the more I dug into her stuff, I went, I don't think we're necessarily the same audience. Interesting. Yeah. What a cool realization and kudos to you because I feel like just as fast as almost everyone would be like, ah, the competition, there's been a lot of conversation about, you know, collaboration and abundance. And so kudos to you for like, putting that, you know, putting that to work. And it's such a fabulous story to hear that, you know, it's right to like, you know, we're all different. We all have a different way of conveying the content that we do and our expertise. And so it's lovely that you've been able to not only identify like how you're different from the marketplace, but to, to have an open conversation with someone about that. That is very, very cool. And then the other thing, I'm not sure if you've already done this, you might have already, <laughs> but in hearing you say, you know, like, oh my gosh, Canva is totally worth it. And, and just listening to that little bit, I was like, oh, do you have a video about that? Or like a, a blog post <laughs> or something? Cause I was like, you're making me think of Canva in a whole new way that I would have never, you know, I, I might've been in that, like, oh, it costs mm -hmm. money and like, whatever. <laughs> I don't need it, right? Like, so that breakdown of like, no, like Canva's amazing. Well, and you know, I mean, years ago, like I, I did not, I would not call myself a graphic designer. Like I did not yeah. start out going to school as yes, an illustrator yes, yes. graphic designer. And I've had friends who were, and they, I remember when Canva came out and people were like, that's, that's just like lazy. What is it? You know, like it, it automatically corrects things and like lines them up for you. And I thought, Great. Yeah. Like, because you know? <laughs> there's, I mean, and then there's like, then there's been more design programs that have sort of even gone that way, bigger design Adobe programs and things like that. Yeah, but they're, yeah, yeah. they're, they're hard to learn and they're very expensive. And so, you know, the, the point of this again, like I said, it's just, also people would go, oh, you're giving away your design secrets. I'm like, these aren't design secrets. This is Canva. Like, I didn't make this stuff up. I can just sort of give you the shorthand of, here's how I use it. You know, here's, right. here's what I see inside of it. Um, because sometimes they have, it's also cutting through the noise. You look in there and there's all these templates and choices. So people could think, Oh, let me use every template and different design. And I'm like, then you ha suddenly have your Instagram feed, just this clutter of too much. Right. And yeah. so it's like, okay, no, pick your, pick your couple layouts. And then every now and then you can review and change that and pivot. And, you know, you don't have to keep it the same forever. Um, but I, I think it's when you get clear on those things and then it makes it easier because it's like, mm. oh, I already know what my graphic is going to be. So then I just have to do the post and that's, it's a lot easier versus this amounts of time coming up with these things. Same with the presentation. You might have like presentation content right now. You're like, oh, I have to make this whole thing. That's not easy maybe for, in your lane to create visually appealing graphics and things like that. And so right. if you've already got this template where photos are plugged in. They have, I mean, they have templates for you that you can just plug wow. your colors and your photos into. So you don't That's have to amazing. invent the, invent the wheel every time, basically yeah. it's already, it's already done for you, you know, and in a much more robust way than something like uh, PowerPoint. So. Right. That's cool. I'm, I'm intrigued. So I, you know, and I'm already on your email list. So let me, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued to see what, what you might um, develop and, and share because I'm like, Oh, this is, Canva in a whole new light, which is very, very, very cool. And I and I love the very niched perspective, right? Like to a business owner, a business owner that cares about their brand, a business home owner that helps people. I feel like that's a very, um, yeah, like focused perspective, which is so, so, so cool. So Canva is a tool. Um, it's a tool that you use, obviously, it's part of your course. What other tools are you using as part of this launch that, that you're in the midst of? Yeah. Uh, so, um, well, obviously my, I, I use MailChimp for email. So okay. that's my, that's my preferred, um, <laughs> old school. Yeah. 
I always try to go away from Mailchimp. I try other things, and yes. for years I've been with Mailchimp, and I end up going back to it. Like I'll try, I'll try, I've tried. What is it? Squarespace email campaigns. I've tried Flowdesk. Um, I've tried some of the new ones, and I'm yeah. like, meh. Um, it just works for me. Yeah. So, so I use Mailchimp for emails, um, and then you know, again, word of mouth communication, LinkedIn. I've been posting there and communicating with clients there that I hadn't been in touch with maybe for a long time. So kind of mm. getting sort of getting myself back in their in their worlds. Um, and then the course platform that I use is called Teachery. Oh, okay. um, and that is where basically you can design landing page there. You can design, um, you can put all the course materials in, create sales pages, everything all in one. So it doesn't have to be on your website. I use a, I use Squarespace for my own website and then okay. I've made a, my landing page on Squarespace. So it's just because I wanted to stick consistent with my website design nice. and look, but if I wanted something different, I could use that teachery page yes, um, and yes. sort of branch out with the look. And so that it's, it's nice that everything's all included in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And would teachery um, allow you to give like a custom domain or use your domain? So if someone didn't have a website, they could just yes. throw it all up on teachery. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. You are, that was a little bit of a leading question because you introduced <laughs> me to teachery. Um, yeah. And it's one of the new uh, course builders out there. And it's a really nifty little tool. I have not personally built anything in there, but I know that you love it. And I've seen yeah. it at the back end and it's pretty yeah, awesome. I, I wouldn't have known about it because um, the business coaching program and they actually designed it and built oh. it. And so they gave us access to the platform as part of our membership. Yeah. And I had tried yeah. others with clients. I had used, I think, Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi. Yeah. They all had challenges, especially as a designer. I would look at them and I would go, ah, oh, these are just clunky, you know, because yeah, yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to custom code something for a client. I want them to be able to edit it and, for sure. you know, they want to change their wording at 2 a.m. I don't want to stop them from doing that. <laughs> yeah, you don't so, want to. Because uh, <laughs> I yeah. know how it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so Teachery has just been, I've moved other courses from, I think, Learn Dash. I've moved them to Teachery. Oh. Um, it's just nice because it's, it's. I'm a minimalist, but it's very minimal in design. And they're they're actually revamping the whole UI, the whole user oh. interface of it. So I think in hopefully December or January, they're gonna be launching this whole new look to it. Um, so they're doing a lot of work on it constantly to, to improve the experience of using it. But it's yeah. really, I find it's like, I go in there, here's your courses, add a person. It's just so easy. You don't have to hunt and click and go, wait, where was the settings for that in? Cause I know that's the hardest part about learning a new tool is like, yes. I don't know where this, how do I change the font color? Where is that? You know, yes. Yes. Yeah. Are they, yeah, it's just exhausting. So, so they make the process really simple. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that will make it easy for you now that you already, you know, uh, you know, this tool and you mentioned a little earlier, you've built other courses. So, pre-selling this Canva experience uh, will be super fast because you know how to hop in there and yeah. you know, do all do all the clicking, um, which is a very, a very cool thing. Wow. Um, another quick question about Tea Tree. Does it include a way to collect payment? Like can people yes. connect their, mm -hmm. okay, perfect. So it really you can, is. Yeah, you can, if you wanted to sync it like to Gumroad or something. Yeah, um, yeah. If you were using your website and going through that, you can do that because they, I think their payment goes through Stripe. Okay. So there's, so there's ways to connect these things. It does interact with Zapier, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, the main thing that you need to know is when you're doing, like if, I mean, this is just pretty common with most courses, but if you're doing a video, for yeah. example, I do my videos in Vimeo right. and then I embed them into Tea Tree. Ah, gotcha. But you can upload documents in there. You can upload images in there. So if you have PDFs for people to download, you can upload them straight in there. Cool. Um, yeah, I think that's, I mean, it's pretty much all in one. The main thing, they have a couple emails yeah. that automatically you can set up like a welcome email. And then when people complete, if people, if people take the time, there's these little check boxes and if they click the check box and it says completed course, they can get an email at the end. So you can have it automate an email. Oh, so you could basically cool. set up a, here's the next step now that you finish this course. And it's sort yeah. of almost like a, a drip feed based because you wouldn't know that by email when they finish the course. For sure, for sure, for sure. And so then for the other emails, they recommend using your email provider because it's what's great about them is they're like, you use your email provider for the other emails because they're the experts at that. Like mm -hmm. we're trying to be everything in one platform, you know? Yeah. That's, 
So that's a bit of a theme for this conversation, like staying in your lane. Like even if it looks like other people's lanes are similar, actually yeah. we each have our own unique lanes and it's more powerful to to stay in your lane. That is super cool. That's a good point for us to end on. Do you have any other last, last thoughts? Stay in your lane. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, I think that that is the main, because that's my other course that I created was a branding yes. course. And, okay. um, and it, it's very much about knowing what your lane is and really clearly oh. and, and the way it's, it's worked with some clients recently where I've had them admit, they were like, I guess I just have to admit that I work with so-and-so like it's, you know, they're, they're think they're casting this wide net. I'm going to say women entrepreneurs. I'm like, that's pretty broad, but okay. That's where you're at. And then they ultimately go, you know, here's who I really like working with. It's like, just admit it, just focus on those people. And, and that, you know, then it's like your business is, is richer in value because you're able to really specify right, content right. based on that audience. So that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic yeah. advice. So tell everyone, how can they learn more about you, what you do, your courses, where should they go? Uh, BridgetBakerMojo.com is my website. And so all the, the courses are on there and then my website portfolio, my branding, you know, setting up a chat with me if you need to do deeper branding dig and things like that. Cause you could do the branding piece with me and then you could still do the Canva course. So. Right. Right. Very yeah. cool. I do love how your Canva course to me, as you were describing it, it's almost like it has all these different connections to your business. Like people that have never worked with you might fit and pop in people that have worked with you in the past. You could like gift it as part of a program. Like there's yeah. lots of different things you could do with it. And that's a really fun way to design these assets that you're creating. So congratulations. Yay. Thank you, Thank you so much for chatting and I'll see you next time, I guess. Thanks for having me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to be notified for the next episode. If you know someone that would benefit from this episode, please share. If you are ready to improve your launch results, visit Dr. Ada's website at www.operationsallied.com. All of the links mentioned in the episode are in the description below. Have a great day.